<laughs> I'm a naughty, naughty boy. <sighs> We're really gonna do this? Yes. The time has come, my friend. All right, assume the position. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> this is Sibling Rivalry. <laughs> The most hilarious book, I'm sorry, the most successful book of the past decade. Most successfully hilarious book. Yes, I like that. Is finally a big screen motion picture, 50 Shades of Grey. Do we really need the intro? I think yeah. these people know what the hell it is. You know what? We gotta this. give the, the, the bare minimum, because <sighs> even I didn't 100% know what it was about. Um, You've though, read it at conventions. I've read it as every funny cartoon character you can imagine, and it's brought so much joy uh, to me and the people. People we have read it to. Uh, th this novel really is uh, a beloved treasure to uh, lovers of smut and lovers of comedy and desperate housewives everywhere. <laughs> well, I said lovers of smut. Um, and this is a story about a uh, college graduate. Oh, wait, say that again. This is a story <laughs> about a college graduate who. Uh, fills in for a journalistic position because the journalist couldn't find another journalist to do it, which I love. Just picks her roommate and goes in to interview the most uh, one of the youngest and most hey, famous... she was an English major. So what if she hadn't graduated yet? <laughs> he, she goes to interview one of the youngest and most famous millionaires, Christopher Gray, so famous that nobody recognizes him wherever he goes, and apparently... And he, he stalks her left and right. Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, and he apparently gets Maybe no he's like done. Bruce Wayne. He's only in the shadows. <laughs> and does no, no work connecting to a millionaire. Uh, we so saw all the work he did on posters in the background, and his office That's it's something right. something and green energy he, something, something he seems to like to walk a lot and look yes. at his phone that it, it, that yes. apparently equals lots of there. lots of walking and sitting at the piano That's yes <laughs> yeah. butt naked uh so uh so he comes across this uh the, the this young woman uh named anastasia Steele, which is just Yes, that is her real that name. That is the real name. That is Christian uh, Gray and Anastasia Steele. <laughs> Anastasia Steele is the fake name for the romance author who writes something like this. It's <laughs> yeah, not a it's, name you put in a book. It, it's not a very credible name, but this is a very... Anastasia Steele's his throbbing member. <laughs> <laughs> it's, but it's not a very... Uh, not a very realistic story either because he decides he wants her, even though there's not only millions of other women, but millions of other prostitutes, whores, whatever they'll do is for free and to no submit chemistry. to him. Yeah, to submit to him as is it pretty much sex slave or submissive or it's pretty much uh, the S&M thing. He's the dumb and he wants her to be the sub in but, what is a vaguely BDSM as written by somebody who probably has no clue what BDSM is. And wants the quote-unquote power exchange and all that stuff, but doesn't want to actually fall in love with her, doesn't want to do any of that. He clearly says that he's not a flowers and chocolates kind of guy, but he is a buying you a car and constantly leaving you gifts kind of guy. And you can start to see what the problem with this movie is. Uh, it makes no sense. It makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. But while you're watching this, like you said, a lot of you probably know the story. If you're watching this review, you don't care if it's a good movie or not. You are wondering if it's a so bad, it's good movie. And it is not. Here, Okay, well, here's the thing. The good news is it is a bad movie. <laughs> it, it, there is no Why doubt. is that the it's, good it's, news? It's, no, no, no. It, because it's not like they turned if it they into managed, something that was actually successful. Or uh, no, it, it's no. Because if they had done that, that would have been one of the most amazing jobs anybody has ever done to a movie ever. But the if they made it legitimately good. Okay, but that's that's not what people that's not what people watching us want to see. They want to no, see us so bad. They want it to be movie. hilariously awful. Uh, but but the bad news is that I don't think I've ever seen a film that had a director, actors, and cinematographer who have tried so hard to make a good film out of pretty much the worst writing you can imagine. This is the room-style writing, but by God, it's a valiant effort. Um, so the only real comedy, which is still a fair amount of comedy, in my opinion, is the choices that these characters make because they are just so inconsistent and go back and forth, and not in a way of, oh, loves like that. It is clearly both these people are mentally insane, particularly him, but she's pretty batshit crazy for constantly going back and thinking she's in control when she's not. And 
Yeah, pretty much it's it's still a bad film that in terms of the smut, uh, it is in there. In my opinion, the more erotic stuff was early on, and when it got more into like the BDSM stuff, it got less erotic. And I think part of that is because in a strange way, in, in the book, everything is, oh my god, it's incredible. The narration's gone. That was 90% of the comedy right there. So if you're looking for the hilarious narration, it's not here. But in the book, everything that happens, the scenes I have read out loud, is holy crap, holy fuck, because that's how she talks. She's a very eloquent writer. Uh, you know, my inner goddess is about to explode. He's rubbing up against my sex. Holy crap. Uh, and it's an amazing thing, but again... See, that was more funny than anything in the movie. But, but again, it, because I think they're trying to make a good film, they're trying to add some credibility, because the character constantly says she doesn't want to do it, yet constantly does it, so I think they're trying to make it look like, at least what I got is, yeah, I guess it's okay, but I still have major concerns about this, and I'm doing it more because, hey, I kind of like him. I never got the feeling like, really, either of them were, like, into it. Like, the early stuff when they're just no, kissing each that's... other and just doing the regular sex, I, I felt much more there than when they got into the BDSM stuff. Well, that's because I don't think they knew how really to shoot it from the approach of the characters, because when you take the narration out, then it's just like, well, I guess we'll... The characters make no sense. It's like a Rorschach <laughs> test. You kind of get out of it just whatever you're thinking in the moment, like... Is she enjoying it? Is she not? One second she's getting her ass spanked and she's like, tee hee, this is kind of fun. And then near the end... Well, which we'll, we'll go more into the spoiler Yeah, near corner, the end... The end is a whole other universe. Something similar happens and then it's like a complete character reversal from what she was... It, they, they constantly flip-flop throughout the entire thing. Um, but like I said, I, everyone in this movie wants a second job. They, yes, the director that is wants true. another that is directing true. job. Yeah. The actors want another acting job, and the cinematographer definitely wants another cinematography job because they are trying it, but I think they know it's crap. And they, But they can't change the writing. They were And they, they shit... No. See, this is the problem with the film. They know it's crap, but because of their egos attached, and I don't blame the, this director, she was picked for this film, I don't blame her if she's like... I'm not going to go out with this movie. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm going to try to make this as good as I can. But because of that pride and ego and maybe I can do this, it's a completely, it's way worse than it should have been. Like, had you just respected the fact that this is trash, it would have been great. Like, this could have been like a, Ver a Paul Verhoeven film. This could have been like Basic Instinct. You know, this could have been like The Room. But instead, it's, it can't even be that bad that it ends up being unintentionally kind of good in an ironic way. It just, you end up watching the film and just falling asleep. There were numerous times where I was just like checking my watch that I don't really have, but pulling out my cell phone <laughs> <laughs> and checking the time and being like, when is this freaking movie? Like, literally, you could listen to a thousand housewives in the, the screening I saw just sighing, waiting impatiently for the next sex scene. <laughs> Same with the guys. The, all eight guys. I was one of eight guys in the <laughs> cinema. We counted. We counted them all. Every guy, I'm sure, yeah, did. My I wife know. and I counted them as they passed. I was like, look, there's one, there's one. Not a single guy there, a guy who was single. They all came with a Oh, line. yeah, no, they're all, and they're all either like that, this. Either that, or they were following, or they picked a random woman to follow really close or sit next to to pretend <laughs> that they weren't there <laughs> alone. <laughs> that's, so. their, that's their beard. <laughs> but you could hear everybody, everybody during all of these so-called, like, normal scenes where they're trying to tell a narrative, just going, just, gah, like, Take it off! Like, that's pretty much what everybody was there. The women included. Like, both the women and guys, you could just hear this impatience, like, oh, for Christ's sakes, just get naked or something. Because the film is just not funny. They removed all of the really stupid bits from the book. The, 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 well, and no, it no, didn't no, make no. it better. No. It made it no, worse. No, 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 no. There's plenty of stupid bits, but again, it's in what the characters are doing. And it's technically in what they're saying, but again, they got good actors. Not great, but good actors that Which can make it sound more mistake. natural. No, because if you read these words that they say to each other, 
uh, just in script form. It, it's still terrible dialogue, it makes no sense, but by God, they try their hardest to make it sound natural, and about 50% of the Had time, I think Had this been Natalie Portman and Hayden Christensen from the Star Wars prequels, <laughs> can you imagine how great this movie would have been? What, didn't she wear something kind of like that in episode two? Did she have, like, don't, a leather outfit Don't look at me like that. It makes me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine, like, if they went full Twilight with this, can you imagine? Uh, you know, the Twilight films were funnier than this. Oh, oh yeah, no, no, I, 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 I totally and... agree. Um, I still think if so, if you're looking for the comedy aspect, I still very much think the choices they make are so inconsistent and so batshit insane that it is funny enough, in my opinion. See, it's but, not but, even. But, it's not even that. But if you're looking for like, yeah, if you're looking for the room, if you're looking for the Star Wars prequels, if you're looking for Shyamalan. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Um, you're not going to quite get it, except in the choices they make. Um, ladies. Ladies. He's, we're going to speak to you. Ladies. Now. If you read this book and thought it was hilarious, and were just like, you know what? I just want some really fucking funny smut. Don't see this movie. It's yeah, not. Yeah, it's yeah, not. You'll be bored of kids. Kids, all you teenagers, including the idiot teenagers who apparently stampeded to get into this movie this past weekend. Like that's a story. Really? Like literally, they were denied entrance because it's an R-rated film. It's okay. I'm a sadist. Yeah, and like a bunch of teens. I'm like, you've got the internet. What are you doing? Even paying money for this? You can find previews of shit on the internet for free. Google. <laughs> I don't get it. You know it's. Here, here's the thing too that because a lot something I've been hearing from a lot of reviewers that I didn't get as much I'm not gonna act like it's not there but I didn't get as much is that a lot of people are saying this movie is very like anti-women and stuff like that and to some extent yes but I don't feel that's like you see in the book it's a definite because everything even when she tries to resist she's like but he's so amazing and I'm loving this so much in this movie she seems to have much more resistance or at least she acts like she has more resistance to it uh, see, I didn't and, get that and at all. The but... No, no, hold on, hold on. But I, I just want to say that to me, it doesn't seem anti women as much as anti everybody. Nobody turns out looking good in this. Oh, well, and... he's an idiot as well. Yeah, I mean, if, no, if that's what we're going for. Nobody looks good like, in this. He, yeah, I, and, he, and he, he struts around like. He looks like a praying mantis with Chris Pratt hair. He's got the, the kind of Chris Pratt hair going. He's always got his arms forward. And there's, it's always about his arms. He's got like this praying mantis thing going. And there's I didn't like quite a, notice that. There's like a scene where like he's straddling her and he's like a gorilla. He's just like, like <laughs> and, uh, I'm not making this up. Like, so he, plus he's a creeper. He's a oh, total yeah, he's stalker. He's a pure creeper. I don't care, I don't care how rich some guy is if i'm a woman and this guy texts me and is like oh so you're having another drink and i turn around and he's right there looking at me weird no no so here's the funny thing again what i kind of semi respect about the movie again in the book if you read her saying holy fuck well she says all the time when she's excited about something so it must be a good thing that he's watching her in the movie she goes holy fuck like what the hell is wrong with this guy so there is a sense that they are addressing the oddness of this but it but still doesn't add gets, up it still but she make, still clearly she still gets goes into it back, which yes. means which means to me that her character in this movie is even crazier that actually by removing the narration you made this make character have a brain and then forget about it yeah because then she just looks like a complete fucking schizophrenic <laughs> <laughs> I love do. you I hate you I love you I hate you no no there is and like I said we'll get to the ending with that a lot but no for for me, it didn't seem it didn't seem like it was trying to insult a gender as much as trying to insult the English language. Like it's not good enough listen, to insult an entire group of people. <laughs> listen, it's it's not a great book or movie for female empowerment. I get where that argument's coming from, but it it it's also just a work of ridiculous fiction. Like saying it's just like I'm I'm not gonna watch this because it's demeaning towards women. It's that's what it is. It's porn. Yeah, what it, it's it's you know people are acting like this is news. Like, did you know that this is degrading to women? No shit. <laughs> I, <laughs> I think honestly, if, I, if if the, if the male character is written, if you like it, like in the movie, it's just as degrading to men, in my opinion. I mean, he makes just as little sense. But that's why this is being read because it is just ridiculous porn. Nobody reads a line like, "Holy crap, my inner goddess was going to explode." Seriously, and if you do, 
The fact that you're taking that seriously, Fifty Shades of Grey is the least of your worries. <laughs> You've got way bigger problems, and if you can't tell Very fantasy true. from reality and that that's nuts, Fifty Shades of Grey is not going to be the one that breaks you, okay? You're already yeah, You're already gone. You're gone. So <laughs> this whole argument uh, is like, I just can't. It's so degrading to women. It's like, it, of course it is. That's what it is. It's porn. You should feel ashamed reading it. That's <laughs> the point of a guilty pleasure. Like, yelling at women like, I can't believe you're reading that. Well, that's the point. It's a cheap thrill. Like, who hasn't watched stupid I gotta, shit? I gotta say, after watching, like, you know, whatever, like a porno or something like that, I don't really come out of it being like, you know, yeah, I, I, I feel good about men. I, I, yeah. I feel really good about You know what? <laughs> that I was think, very empowering to men. I think that porno was degrading to women. <laughs> like, that's what... I, that, that's the problem. And I think this is what bothers me about the film, is the film tried to elevate itself above smut and be like, no, we're gonna, we're gonna try to take this seriously and say something. And it failed. Like, it's just... Admit what it is. It's porn. Women are reading it because they want to, you know, and if that's some woman's fantasy, that's why it's called fantasy. <laughs> like, it's something you can't do in real life because it's not reality. Or maybe somehow you've figured out a way to do it or belong to a certain, you know, club or something. If but... you've discovered a millionaire <laughs> who is willing to treat you like this, no, I'd still be concerned that no... Well, why would you still be with this guy? Yeah, He's so, acting so bad you're crazy. <laughs> on the one hand, yes, the movie's really terrible. On the other hand, I think the big deal that some people are making about it, I'm just like, it. I'm sorry, it's harmless. You could make a bigger argument that Twilight is more harmful because teenagers are at least impressionable. But even then, I've seen no scientific evidence that suggests all teens came out of Twilight like, oh, this is the relationship I want. Like, it's freaking vampires and werewolves. I know, uh, you know, I, I know someone, I, I know a friend who uh, actually likes the Twilight movies. And I, I asked her, and, and she's like a grown woman. And I said, well, why do you like these women? And she's like, oh, I know they're awful. I, I, I just like the beefcakes. You know, I like that. And I think... Why that, do you think Fifty Shades of Grey is popular? I was going to say, popular. I think that's the mentality that, you know, Fifty Shades of Grey should sort of like have not just from people who want to go see it but from the people who made the it the bulk of the people reading this at least if if i'm to judge by what i saw in the cinema the bulk of the people interested in reading this are housewives uh, somewhere between the ages of 35 and 55 that, that, those were the people in our thing now if you want to tell me that every single one of those housewives is batshit crazy insane and believes that this is how the world works and they're gonna leave their husbands the second they get out of this to join some BDSM like you can try but I'm sorry I give most women I give most human beings yeah. <laughs> more credit than that so you know if if you're in the BDSM community I I get it because it's not like and you're just like this is a misrepresentation of what we're all about oh man it's probably yeah. light compared to like what they do like in the beat like the hardest well, thing no, they do is that he spanks are really hard well they're the probably like that's the, the big intense scene well but right? the, their problem is it's uh, supposed to be like safe consensual this and that and he like violates that every time and she just bends but she over does and takes too. it they're, they're both crazy yeah, so i get that if you're in that specific community but if you're just like on the periphery of just like oh it's degrading to women it's porn <laughs> like that's you know i was if trying to women can watch smut too i don't care as long as they can separate fantasy from fiction it's like, I've, I've seen these things going around. People are like, I'm not going to see it because it's degrading women. This. Well, you know what? I'm not going to watch Ghostbusters because it condones the stalking of a woman, uh, gross violations of the Environmental Protection Agency. <laughs> uh, or, Make him look like the villain. Yeah, or... Even though I, he, is kind of a, he is kind of right in the movie. <laughs> yeah. Uh, or I could just watch whatever the hell I want because I realize there's this difference between fantasy and reality. You know, I was trying to think of a movie because we, we were talking about this a little bit before about like how to do kind of smut right, like know it's stupid, but also make it good. Bound? <laughs> I was thinking of that. Uh, 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 about it, but that... That that stuff's very early on, and then they turn into a real real thriller. What uh, the ones you named are very good. The, the basic instinct and fatal attraction and stuff. But no, the one I forgot about. I'm like, yeah, that that was a good one. It was smut, but it was so entertaining. It was so smart. Was Wild Things. Like that was definite yeah. smut. Well, and again, that's a Verhoeven film. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that, that, it, that's that's pure smut. Because but it's he knows really smart. Because, and because it's he really knows. Funny and because he knows it's smut. If you go in knowing it's smut from the beginning. 
See, that's the thing. I don't think the people behind this film, they, I think they knew it was smut, but I think they decided, else. well, we're gonna, we're too good for this. We can't make smut. We're gonna elevate it. And it's like, you can. You have to go in knowing this is garbage to begin with. <laughs> so, And I think most people do. And I think that's why, like, when we walked out, the audience was just stunned into silence and kind of just groaning because I think they all thought the same thing. Hey, we wanted garbage. And you gave us garbage, like, drizzled in like truffle oil or some fancy <laughs> shit. What the hell is this? Like I wanted my McDonald's, not McDonald's all like with syrup. like caramel sauce or yeah, some, like, <laughs> some fancy shit on it. You know, <laughs> with some Parmigiana Reggiana. <laughs> like, with powdered gold on it. <laughs> yeah, so if, if you're going into that, just, what was it? I think I said it answers the question, what would bad Twilight fan fiction porn look like if it was directed by Stanley Kubrick. Like that Actually, there'd all... be a lot more porn in it if it was Well, there'd be a lot more porn, and we already no had joke. that. It was called Eyes Wide Shut. Yes. But it, it, that's what it is. It's like, all you did was just... you. It's shot very pretty. Like, there are some gorgeous shots. No, no, they're beautiful. Uh, the cinematog the cinematography's amazing. You, you, you want to know the most uh, erotic scene to me that was both, both be beautifully shot and just, I was like, that was James When they put their clothes back on? Uh, <laughs> kind of. It, it's the scene that you were talking Billy about. Doug. No, no, no. There's a scene where he's at the piano. It, he, they just did it. And it's this beautiful shot where he's at the piano. The city is in the background. They have these long windows. It's nighttime. The city is glowing. She comes out and just lines up perfectly at the window. He's lined up perfectly at the window. And she just walks up to him, you know, completely naked. And just starts making out with him. And they walk off. And it's all in one <laughs> see, shot. See, and I like, laughed my ass off because he picks her up. Like, she's, like, straddling well, him. No, and he just picks her up like... Silly. Come, woman. <laughs> no, no, but, just, you, but there, there's no line. No, there's no lines. There's no dialogue. It's only visual, and clearly, this visually could be an interesting movie. Okay, visually, that was a very pretty scene. At the same time, the realistic part of me is just like they got me fucking freezing. It's <laughs> Seattle, and it's raining outside. Come on, like, but. <sighs> No, I, yeah, the, the, I, the, honestly, the simple, in terms of, like, actual, like, erotic stuff, I mean, it's obvious they don't have any chemistry. I'll say they have a little bit more than Edward and Bella, but that's not saying much. Because, like I said, these two can act. I mean, they're Dakota not... Dakota Johnson can act. She was fine. I no, mean, no, she, I, I, I she makes she Selena too. Kyle from Batman Returns, Michelle Pfeiffer's role, like, that look like Hillary Clinton. Yeah. <laughs> but, because she's so, like, uh, the, her first scene where she just trips... Like walking in, and I'm like, great first impression. So no, I, I actually thought they they weren't phenomenal, but but they were good, and so they tried to get as much chemistry as they can from such terrible material. But like the stuff that was the most erotic, like I said, is honestly sort of the simplest stuff. Like there's one scene when they were like just dabbling with it that is kind of funny, but it's kind of clever too. There's he's like starting to take her shirt off, and then it like stops at her eyes. And then he just stops, and it's like, that's the blindfold now. Like, the shirt on the arms and the eyes. I'm like, okay, that's kind of clever. Like, that's kind of funny. But it's also, like, just so simple, that my part. Problem and then is when you go like, into the room with all the whips and stuff like that, half of them they don't use. My, like, they never do yes, what a tease! It. What a freaking tease! You see this was. goddamn room, you're like, what the hell are they going to do with half of this shit? I and guess that's has, the like, coming attractions for the sequel. Yeah, no, it's like the, the little riding crop thing, and... I'm trying to even think. Like, a paddle? Like, that's it. Yeah, this is some pretty tame softcore stuff. Yeah. You could, like, literally, you could just go on a Google, like, search and find... Oh, you find, can find much worse Like, than in two seconds. They try is, to make it look yeah. so intense and so, oh, yeah, well, like, we're the hardcore. Well, and that's my like, problem with this. so it, tame. It was just erotic enough. Like, I felt like these were all the lead-ins to a much better sex scene that never happened. Yeah. Like, okay, and then he blindfolds her with the shirt, and now where does it go? And I'm like... And yeah, it, it kind of stopped. Like, I'm like, like just that, was starting uh, to like get into the you know, and hey, that was here's the, the hardcore only, stuff. It, it and that's stops. the only interesting shit in the movie because once you take out the monologue, there is nothing left. It did make me realize how little actually happens in the story. <laughs> it's very nothing. True. Nothing when, happens. All, everything we found funny in the book was her like inner her monologue. Talking about yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, and when we were getting close to the end, like I said, we'll do a spoiler corner of it. But when we were getting close to the end, I was feeling like man, this movie's long, and my wife asked me, how long is this movie? And I look at my clock, and I'm like... It's actually it, not that no, long. No, 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 it, it, it's about two hours, but, uh, you know... But that's when, not but that when, long. when is it going to end? And I look at the clock, and I'm like, in three minutes. And we just give each other a look like... It can't be wrapping up already. Like nothing happened. Oh, there were, there were audible groans. And, and, you and could then, tell, and then you we could get tell... to the ending, I'm just like... 
What? You could tell the groans, too, were from the people who didn't read the book. Anyone who read the book... I didn't book know how it read, yeah, or how it ended. ...knew where it ended, but those that didn't, when it cuts where it does, you could just... Everybody was just... Oh, yeah, like, are you like, fucking serious? Like, I didn't know that's... I'm at Chikashi, I was where the book ends. I'm like, really? That's where... The, and this it's the, smut, oh, this obviously degrading smut ends? And it's the only... The funny thing is that last shot is the only scene in the movie where, like, because, yes, we say they can act, but they're not acting, acting. Mm. Let's be honest here. There's no performance here that's really going to no, blow you away. But the final minute of that film is the only point where both of them really, I thought, were stretching it. And I'm like, oh, this is interesting. Real acting, real role reversal. What's a cut? I'm like, uh. Now, you know, the other thing I'll say is that when he, again, just out of character makes no sense because he says he can't get personal, but uh, when he reveals the bits about his past, uh, first of all, I am far more interested in that than anything that happens in the movie. According you know, to my wife, you learn more. She's she's read them all. She literally, uh, what, what did she say? The li She called it the literary equivalent of Tommy Wiseau's The Room. Yeah, no, I mean, like, it, she, somebody the books are yeah. amazing. The first book is amazing. Somebody recommended it to her and said, this is the funniest thing you'll ever read in your entire life. And she started reading it and she's like, I'm completely hooked. Like, it's I amazing. just, this is, a, this is a train wreck. I have to know where they're going with this. But according to her, they, like, explain his backstory. And that was what she said. She's like, it's really the only interesting thing attempt at being interesting, you know? Yeah, like, that stuff book. I was actually kind of, like, interested in. And again, maybe that sort of ties into the ending, too. Like, you know, when they're actually trying to really act, and they actually gives them a second, you can act, you're allowed to act, even with scenes that still make no sense. But she told know? me where it goes, and I'm just like, okay, so this really could have been told in one, maybe two films tops. And she's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> she's like, the books are just padded. Oh, this, oh, this film, yeah, this film could have been cut in half, easy. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah, we should should probably wrap up here and get to but, the spoiler uh, corner. But, but hey, uh, score by Danny Elf. <laughs> Yes. I really <laughs> wanted some, like, Pee Wee's Big wow, wow. Adventure music. Oh, yeah! Amazing. Maybe some mysterious Edward Scissorhands music when she's walking through the Red Dungeon. Can you imagine this movie done with, like, Tim Burton characters? Like, Beetlejuice pops out of the vagina, and then Edward Scissorhands is trying to finger her. It'd be amazing. Christian Grey shows up, like, all new, like, da 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 <laughs> like the Batman Oh, He's wearing all the leather with the nipples. <laughs> that Batmobile music. Somebody needs to make this happen on YouTube. <laughs> like, just intersperse. 50 Shades of Grey. Intersperse, like, music from other Elfman scores into with the, the movie. Shades of Grey. <laughs> the the, the Bam, uh, Beetlejuice and Pee Wee's Big Adventure would probably be best for that. Um, that'd probably be the funniest. Um, that'd be awesome. So, yeah, in terms of... <sighs> In terms of people who would like the movie, if you're looking for a so bad, it's good. No. The, no, I, I would still argue the choices they make are very funny because of how inconsistent they are. But Some of the dialogue, two hours mostly, and nothing happening to get to it. Don't. It's, yeah, you'd really have to want to be in the mood to laugh at them. It's not going to provide you with the type of humor out of nowhere like The Room does. I don't know who this movie was for. Because it's not for the Desperate Housewives who read the book, because I'm pretty convinced they were reading it, A, for the smut, B, because it's hilarious. Mm -hmm. You know, and this provides just bare minimum smut. It's not really that funny, you know, any kid can find better porn on the internet. Guys are going to be bored, like, yeah, there's some nice TNA here and there, but again, She does have a nice internet. body. Like, she really shocked me, actually. Yeah, when she's I saw got her, a I'm nice like, body, oh, this is the but... one that he's going to be like, I'm drawn to you, which it never is explained why he's just <laughs> drawn to her, <laughs> no, but I was kind of like, uh, okay, wait, well, you know, I mean, I'm not like, because she clearly has no personality. No. You no. know, so, you know, it, it's got to just be the look. I'm like, okay, whatever, but is she... She's got a nice body. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> you know she plays like, up real nice. You know, I feel like this is that South Park episode with, what was it called? Backdoor Sluts 9. And he accidentally puts on Lord of the Rings. He's like, ah, oh, I hate the production values on this are great, but oh, I hate it when they try to tell too much story in my porn. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, that's what I was realizing. I was like, great production values, too much story, not enough smoke. Well, no, I, I think you nailed it, actually. Anyone looking for the book, you're going to get the bare minimum. Uh, is what you're going to get. You're going to get that in terms of the Bam. smut. Bam. Uh, you're going to get that in terms of the smut. You're going to get that in terms of uh, the story. You're going to get none of that in terms of the narration. Uh, and so, just so we don't sound like a bunch of fucking pigs, 
I don't need sex to make a good movie, but if you're basically going to say, hey, here's the smuttiest book of the year, if you're gonna say your porn does not have the porn, I'd better see some smut on screen. Yeah. And for me, there just wasn't enough. If anything, though, the smut was the only thing that would wake me up because the rest <laughs> of the attempts at storytelling, I'm like, mm. and then all of a sudden they'd start taking their clothes off. I'm like, all right, fine, at least I got this. Yeah, I mean, it's if if I think you know, if you're gonna be smut, be smut. Yeah, it's, go ahead. It's and a movie it. made for nobody. I think the only per, the only person I think who would like this film is the one who would. I guess if you think it's funny enough, then you would like it ironically. Yeah, I mean... That, but I think I part of what bothers me about the film way more than the book is that the book knew it was trash, and this by trying to elevate it, the only person who could enjoy this is someone who would try to take it seriously. Yeah, I, I say, or, if you again, and again, you're just looking for the bare minimum, that is... Really, all it is, um, go you know, go watch Better Rod. There's yeah, erotica. there's a lot there's more. Rave. There's like fucking art house films. Eighties, nineties films were grittier. Hell, there's shit from the seventies, and like this used to be a genre of movie, mm, like the sex yeah. And, and this stuff, isn't gonna yeah. bring it back. I know it's sitting at oh, it's three hundred million. It's gonna. I guarantee you, the sequels are not gonna do as good because people will have learned already. Like you'll get that dedicated fan base, but mm. if you went in to this film like. Everybody I knew left disappointed. Mm. Like, you could just hear everybody bitching about it. So I, I don't see people seeing the sequel like they saw this one. I think mm. this had the surprise factor of just like, ooh, when is this going to be amazing? Is this gonna... No, it's not. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's actually very tame. I mean, I, I think for housewives that don't, like, know that much about this stuff, or, again, part of it was the funny narration, just how Basically for women like the author, it. I think. Yeah, I mean, kind of. So, um... Yeah, just kind of take that for what it's worth. Uh, a lot of people have been asking if I'm going to do like a nostalgia cake review of it. I think it's funny enough, personally, to do it. I think the choices they make are so mind-boggling. Just keep your clothes on. Okay? <laughs> I make no promises. So uh, uh, so probably when it comes out, we'll, we'll make an attempt to do it. Because uh, I still think it could be pretty funny. I'm already kind of writing it in my head. Uh, so, yeah. I, I think they're just batshit crazy enough, the choices they make, that I think you can get a lot of good humor out of it. So, But again, it's more from an uh, analytical standpoint. Like, why would anybody do this? Why would anyone go back and forth but not not stuff. bad enough for me so it could it, definitely be a lot worse and i think it, it should have been a it lot could worse. have been a lot worse and by not doing that it actually legitimately is worse but i i totally understand why i i want these people to have other jobs Maybe, the, <laughs> i don't blame you the people involved in this have talent and that was the biggest sin of this movie <laughs> <laughs> getting people who have yeah. talent yes yeah, so uh that's about it I'm slippery when wet. I'm just gonna scoot over here now. My inner gas is about to explode. Ew!